So today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make the double thick pot holders. I have two different sizes that I like to make. The small is five and three quarter inches by five inches. The large is eight inches by seven and a half inches. Your measurements may be a little different than this depending on which cotton yarn you choose to use. I use the Hobby Lobby brand cotton yarn and the color I'm using today is pewter. To make the small pot holder, you're going to start by chaining 35 and then you're going to single crochet back across. So let me move these out of the way. So I've already actually chained the 35 and single crocheted into each stitch. Once you get to the end of those 35 single crochets, you're actually going to start crocheting into the backs of those. So I'm going to do that real quick just so that you have an idea of how this is going to work. So there are the additional 35 stitches. So in the very center there is where that original chain was. We have single crochet 35 going forward and 35 coming back for a total of 70 stitches. From here, you're gonna work in a spiral going around and around and around. If you have stitch markers available, this would be a good time to use them. Place them in the end of each round so that you can continue your spirals without losing track of where you are in your rounds. For the small pot holder, you're doing 70 stitches per round total for 20 rounds. When you're done with the 20 rounds, you will have something along the lines of this. This is actually inside out from how it turns out. So this is actually what you're going to have. And then once you're done, you're going to want to pop it inside out like that because this texture gives it a much nicer look. And then instead of leaving it looking like a little clutch purse, you're going to fold it down like this. Just push both corners towards each other and it'll land approximately like that. So what I typically do is I turn it so that the tail from the project is on the right side. And for the small pot holder, this tail is going to be approximately 14 stitches from this corner. So if you count along here, you'll see that I have 14 stitches there. Once you have it to this point, you're going to want to tuck the tail in, grab your yarn needle and a spare piece of yarn, and you're just going to stitch along this line. There's a couple different ways of stitching this. 
Some people would do more of like a whip stitch. Some people would do more like a mattress stitch. You do whatever works best for you. If you're looking for a stitch that is almost invisible, there are some great tutorials on Pinterest and YouTube both. So I would suggest to go ahead and look for some that you like the look of. Once you're done with that, it'll look something along the lines of this. If you want, you can add a little chain of about seven or eight to make it so that you have a loop to hang it by. Mine stay in a drawer, so I rarely add the loops. For the large, it's basically the same setup, just a different number of stitches. So to go over this, for the double thick pot holders, for both sizes, you're going to want to use a size H hook with 100% cotton yarn. Cotton holds up to heat much better than acrylic would. For the small pot holder, you're going to start with chaining 35 plus 1 to turn. That'll give you 70 stitches per round for 20 rounds. When you're done, placing the tail towards the right side of the project, it will be approximately 14 stitches from the corner. This will give you a measurement of 5 and 3 quarter inches by 5 and a half inches on the final product. For the large pot holder, you're going to want to chain 50 plus 1 to turn. This will give you 100 stitches per round. You're going to do that for 29 rounds. Once you're done, bring the tail towards the right side of the project, and that tail will be approximately 20 stitches from the corner. After stitching that up, you'll have a pot holder that measures approximately eight inches by seven and a half inches. And once you have both of those sizes done, make a few extras and your kitchen will feel even more complete.